All right guys, so in today's video, I'm just gonna go over a few of the glues that we know that we have tested over the years that are gonna work quite well on re recovering the car headlining when it starts to sag. Just keep in mind, only use these glues when you're reapplying brand new material. Do never add glue to the old existing material that's sagging with the foam that's breaking down. It doesn't work, it's gonna waste your money and it's gonna create more of an issue later on. So here guys are a few glues that we recommend. The Permatex Body Shop Heavy Duty Headliner and Carpet Adhesive Glue. That's usually uh, quite easily found at most motor trimming stores. Uh, things like uh, Auto Barn, you'll be able to find those ones in. And I think they don't retail uh, too expensive. I think the 3M is going to be a bit more dearer that we'll go into in a minute. But these are good, uh, pretty good glues. I'm not sure, I haven't done a test yet about how much glue cans you're going to need to do, say, a, a ute or a sedan or a wagon. I believe if you're just doing a ute, you're only going to need one can because you will be spraying the back of the material and you'll be spraying the board and then you'll be bringing the two together. Uh, sedans, you may require one to two cans, so maybe it's best to buy that second can. Um, so yeah, that's a good glue, we've used that before. Uh, 3M High Tac 76 is actually a really good glue to use. Uh, this was one of the first glue cans we actually started to use when we just had it in the van just for quick touch-ups if we needed it. Uh, just keep in mind we don't actually um, do the jobs in these cans because uh, we're buying in a massive bulk type of scenario where, we, where we're getting in the uh, massive drum of glue that comes through that we're using. But for you guys, if you're doing a one-off job, uh, we're recommending these cans because they do a quite good job. We've tested them on things like sunroofs and stuff like that. Or they're on the shelf just in case we do run out of glue one day and we'll just switch to a can and just finish the job off. So yeah, the 3M76 high tack, uh, that does come out in a different color now. So I think it's like a black and a purple. So when you're looking for this one on the shelf or online, it is a slightly different color these days. Uh, the Tensor Grip company that made the T51 this has been a really convenient glue to buy however um, the t51 is more ideally to be used when it's a really hot day because the dry times are uh, more convenient but um, if you're just generally using it during uh, maybe probably um, under 30 degrees grab their newest brand out which is a t65 uh, tensor grip but i believe you can only buy it in a massive bulk form which is going to they're quite dear as well i think it's like uh, 20 litres, it may cost around about the $450 mark, give or take at 50 bucks. So uh, probably the most expensive glue would be the tensor grip, but it's um, some of their methods of how the glue comes out is very, really convenient. So um, yeah, if you're looking, put that one aside. If you're looking for a glue that's easier to be found, I would say uh, the 3M High Tack. Uh, check your local Bunnings stores, maybe or your hardware stores, your Stratco, they, they may have this brand. Um, we're going to get in contact with some of the suppliers and see if we can have it ourselves and then we can uh, have it available for you guys to purchase. But um, for now, yeah, and the Permatex is uh, quite easy to be found and it works really good. So these cans are empty, so I can't actually show you how they spray out, but they're going to pretty much come out exactly the same as this guy. So you've got a setting on there where you can go high, medium and low. So usually the high is pretty good and it should come out like a like that and then what, what, what you want to do is basically spray and overlap each time about 50% and you spray the uh, the board once it's clean and then you spray the back of the material as well of the brand new material the reason you can't just add glue so we've done several videos about this is because underneath the sagging headlining board that you may be experiencing inside your car this is all this old orange foam that's crumbling away and that's what makes the headlining board sag it's just the old foam backing has rotted and deteriorated the way and it makes the headlining cloth material fall down so it's not a glue issue there's no glue residue left on these cars anyway um, it's just the foam breaking down so if you were to add glue to this board now it's like spraying glue onto dirt it's not going to stick that well and if you do say if you spray on the, the back of the material because there's no foam backing on that material now you'll get a glue stain that appears and that's just gonna forever stay there, it's gonna look messy. And um, yeah, it's not ideal really for a, a quick fix that you wanna do, it's just drawing pins or staples, they don't hurt the board. And um, that will just hold it up until you get it professionally repaired, uh, either by yourself, uh, learning how to do the, the repair, or just take it to your local motor trimmer and upholsterer, 
they'll be able to do that job for you as well. Um, we'll show you what happens sometimes with headlining boards when you do add your own glue to the existing material or you're using the glue that's not designed for these cars. So this headlining board is being cleaned and is getting ready and prepped for a brand new material, but the customer has added their own glue. And as you can see, the back section here, it's all been, uh, this, all, all this old glue needs to come off now. So it didn't come off with just a single brush. You have to kind of start to use a, an orbital sander, a wire brush to try to remove that old glue. Because if you keep it on there, it's gonna make the, brand new material that goes over the top you're going to have imp imperfections that actually rise and come through the material so this headlining board needs to be cleaned down and because this car is one of those rare cars that we usually do and it's more of the most expensive uh, era of the cars this is a Volkswagen uh, Touareg that's come in these cars if you were to buy a brand new headlining board as a donor to, a, to do the recovery stage on because this one's got all that glue um, we hear from Volkswagen sometimes these can cost uh, from a thousand dollars upwards so they're going to be quite dear to actually buy a headlining board as a replacement so we're just going to have to sit here now and just uh, try to sand down that glue they've also added it up around the front section here up near the grab handle so you can see it doesn't work it looks messy uh, it would have been more ideal if they just put drawing pins on there and then when they're ready to get it redone they could just bring it into their local trimmer and get it reupholstered but um, if you're looking for more steps on how to do the recovery stage yourself, we have a few videos we've loaded up where we take you step by step, or we do have that downloadable ebook called Headlining Secrets. The link below in the description will take you to that. So it's um, called Headlining Secrets. It's an ebook, and it will take you through all the common problems to watch out for. Uh, it will take you through the glues and the fabrics to use, and just the general process of how and what's involved in laying brand new material and recovering a car headlining the ad sag. So if you're after that guys, just check the link below in the description. We'll have that there available for you. Otherwise, we'll see you here in the next video. And if you found this video helpful, just give it a thumbs up. If you want to support and help this channel grow, click that subscribe button. That'll be much appreciated. And we'll see you next time guys. See ya.